Hi guys, after a glass shatter tutorial one of you asked me to make a transition with car slam and shatter effect, so here I have added two of my clips and let's scroll to the second clip and duplicate it. Then make sure you are at the beginning of duplicated layer and right click on it, go to time and select, freeze frame. Now go 20 frames backward, hold shift and press page up two times. Move the froze layer there and cut the ending of it where the second actual clip starts from. Now we have to isolate the car from a background, you can use roto brush tool or a pen tool to mask the car, I will grab a pen tool and quickly mask the car, try to mask as smooth as possible. Once you are satisfied with your mask, toggle off masks to see car clearly, now we can begin making a car slam effect. Go to very end of that layer and press P on your keyboard, click on position stopwatch icon to create a keyframe, then go to very beginning of that layer and move position all the way up. Select both keyframes now and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to graph editor, right click there and select, edit speed graph, make a smooth curve, copy mine or play around until it looks cool to you. Once you are satisfied with the curve, enable motion blur on that layer and we can begin making a glass shatter effect. Let's duplicate second clip and add shatter effect on it. Change view to rendered. Expand shape and change pattern to glass. Now go to very end of the layer and expand force 1, set the radius around 1 or 1.15. Expand physics next and increase gravity until shattered glass are gone. Let's check the animation. Under the shape increase extrusion depth to make glass thicker a bit. Now let's add glow to this layer to make glass shiny a bit. I will use deep glow plugin, if you don't have it, use after effects glow, it works fine as well. I will set exposure to 0.15. Let's check the animation again. It looks cool to me. Lastly we can add shake effect, I will skip that part cause I have already made a shake tutorials. Also I have created 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description. Check how it looks like with my shake preset. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.